Good evening. My name is Derek Maxwell, and I have the distinct pleasure of serving the Winder Bear community as the principal of Winder Bear High School. I would like to welcome you to our first and hopefully last virtual graduation ceremony. Let me be very clear for a minute. I want to assure you that the program we present to you tonight is in no way intended to replace the traditional ceremony to be held July 29th at W. Claire Harris Stadium. We still very much intend to have that later in the summer. Next, I want to take this opportunity to personally thank each member of the audience for supporting the young women and men who will soon be graduates of Winder Bear High School. Each of you have played some role in the development of these young adults, whether it be as parents, guardians, friends, teachers, coaches, pastors, whatever it may be, you, as evidenced by your virtual presence here this evening, have contributed not just to the success of the 434 soon-to-be graduates, but to the very livelihood and well-being of your community. I mention this because I feel very strongly that the future of any community depends largely on the young women and women who are here we sit, we are here to celebrate today. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Spencer Smith to the podium for open remarks. Thank you and enjoy the program. Good evening, class of 2020, and thank you for the introduction, Mr. Maxwell. As you said, my name is Spencer Smith, and I was given the honor to hop in front of this camera and speak to y'all tonight. Since I am the first speaker of this graduation ceremony, I thought it would be fitting to address the elephant in the room. And by that, I mean your room and the fact that you're there rather than here seated at W. Claire Harris Stadium. Because we were seniors during the only pandemic in the past century, we've in general received quite a bit of attention. We are the select group of people who missed out on our senior prom. We missed out on our traditional baccalaureate, honors night, and obviously graduation. The end of a senior year is supposed to be a very memorable time in a person's life, just usually for a different reason. It's a time to get closure and say goodbye to our friends, teachers, and community before finally parting ways and transitioning to pursue our own individual aspirations. We didn't get that, and society sympathizes with us through social media and those brief, distanced encounters we have with other people. The conversation usually goes about like this. Oh, you're a senior? That sucks. And it does suck. And it's okay to grieve, but eventually we have to move on because we can't let this virus define who we are. I don't know about you, but 10 years from now, I don't want people to associate the class of 2020 with coronavirus at all. Rather, I want, I want us to be perceived as an extremely adaptable and resilient group of individuals. If we can overcome the significant loss that no other class before us has experienced, we can become stronger. We can stand out. Kelly, Kelly Clarkson wasn't joking when she said that what, does, what doesn't kill you does make you stronger. Literally. A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. With that being said, our class is special. And with the right perspective, this pandemic can be seen as an, can be seen as an advantage for us. Even though there are only 411 of us, much smaller groups of people have changed the course of history, and I believe we can do that too. My dad has always told me that whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. All that you can do is your best. So I want to leave you with that and turn the mic over to Amanda in just a second. We're all going to go different directions in life now, but whatever we do, if we work our hardest and push ourselves, we can do great things. Thank you class of 2020 and go dogs. To my fellow graduates, I'm honored to present this speech, even in a non-traditional format. I would like to begin by sharing a story that comes from the beginning of the second semester of junior year. In chorus, we began working on a new piece for a spring concert called Song of Miriam by Rabbi Rousseau. Even from when we very first started to learn the song, the lyrics resonated with me. In layman's terms, this song hit different. The song tells the story of a young girl named Miriam who finds herself in a confusing new environment. Although she wants to sing the song rising inside of her, she stops herself. Through the chorus, she questions, can I take a step without knowing a destination? Will I falter? Will I fall? Will the ground sink away from me? I'm sure that many of us may have begun thinking about our futures before we, we began senior year. I myself was beginning the college application process when we sang the song in class. I shared Miriam's concerns as I worried about finding my place in a new adult world following graduation. However, her realization at the end of the song brought me peace. Miriam discovered the waters were friendly, and she was able to sing the song that was in her heart. By transferring into the Bear County school system my freshman year, I already experienced the anxiety that comes with the beginning of a new environment. Despite this, 
Winebearer High School quickly became a place I call home. I'll forever treasure the memories and friends I have made over the past four years, and I will always remember to spell dogs with two Gs. It would be an understatement to say this has been quite a memorable year. My heart goes out to anyone that may have been personally affected by COVID-19. This turbulent time period will no doubt be one for the books. Earlier than we anticipated, and in a different way than we expected, we have found ourselves in a period of uncertainty and confusion, just like Miriam. Personally, the sudden adjustment to online education and social distancing was no easy feat. I missed waving to my friends in the hallways, seeing my teachers in a real classroom, and knowing I would one day walk across the 50 yard line to receive my diploma. We missed out on the two most important months of our high school career. Still, through problem solving and the use of technology, we were able to continue to show school spirit and complete our year. Although this may not have been the senior year we planned on having, let this just be another reminder to live in the moment and make the most of it while we can. We started strong and we will finish strong. Although we may not know what the future holds for us, there is a place in this world for each and every one of us. Some of us may find ourselves in more familiar environments, while some may find themselves like Miriam in new and overwhelming places. Regardless, I know that we can overcome the struggle and find the strength to sing the songs in our hearts. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. So as many of you know, I set a goal to become valedictorian in the seventh grade. So I bet many of you assumed that I had written the speech a long time ago. But if you really know me, you know I procrastinated this speech just like everything else in high school. But even if I had written the speech months ago, I really don't think I could get up here and say it. Months ago, when it was announced that I would be giving the speech, life looked a lot different. The most important things to me were spring break, senior week, and senior skip day. Making the best months, making the best out of the last few months with my friends was all that I really cared about. But life was really put into perspective recently, when everything that I cared about was ultimately changed. But what better class to handle change? As I'm sure all of you do, I have a few stories about how things have unexpectedly changed in the past 13 years. But the class of 2020 has always been resilient. You, all of you, are some of the toughest and most hardworking individuals I've ever met. Whether it was doing extra credit on the weekends to pass a class or writing a Perry essay on the way back from a football game, you all learned the value of hard work these past four years. But that's not all we've learned. School is centered around learning and we sure have done a lot of that. We learned how to add and subtract, how to somewhat manage our time, how our government works. We also learned that most of us aren't very good at chemistry. But most importantly, we learned how to make friends and how to be better people. While I'll take the lessons that the teachers taught us with me, I'll also take the memories that we made over the last four years. The memories of winning a football game, studying with friends at Duncan, frantically asking somebody what's gonna be on the test that I missed, dressing up for homecoming week, going to Dairy Queen before school, practically running into school because I was late, again, and the countless hours we sat in the same rooms every day. Don't think of this as the end. Yes, it's the end of an era, but graduating high school is just the beginning of all the great things you will do in your life. Use what you've learned in the past four years from the teachers who watch us grow and the friends who were there every step of the way to make an impact on the world, and if not the world, the people around you your community. And when you wake up tomorrow and you're no longer a high school student, go out and make a difference. Whether it's going to college, the military, or straight into the workforce, use what you've learned in the past four years to make a difference in the world around you. Also, I would like to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to all the parents and families who have supported us during our high school careers. Thank you to my parents who supported me and my crazy dreams and goals. Thank you to all of the teachers who took care of us and taught us for four whole years. And thank you to all of my classmates. It was all of you that made high school memorable and exciting. Thank you for making the last four years the best they could have been. And finally, listen close, cause it's probably the last time I'll ever say it, go dogs. I'm glad and frankly surprised to have made it this far in life given our current circumstances. So whatever comes next, I'm ready for it. That we may be transitioning onto new things, new people, new places, I will not forget where I came from. As much as we all pretend to hate it, deep down, we still love this school. We still scream and shout for our team at the football games and spell dogs with that double G. Maybe we walk out on pep rallies, but our school spirit is still there, forever and always. 
I think this quarantine has really shown us just how much we really love this school and that we would give anything to go back and finish our senior year the way it was supposed to. Obviously, as everyone else before me has said, I can't just give a speech without touching on how untraditional this is for us all. No one could have predicted the circumstances we are in, and if you think about it, nothing has ever been traditional for the class of 2020. We have been the guinea pigs for everything since middle school. We saw our old middle schools rebuilt, our grass field was upgraded to turf, we even got a new principal, and lastly, we were robbed of the better parts of our senior year. This is something no class before us has ever experienced, and there are no guidelines for what to do amidst a global pandemic. But we are a class of change, and while some of the changes haven't exactly been welcome, we will get through this as we have gone through all the other changes before us. We are not only the class of change, but the class of making the best of what happens to us. In the first semester of this year, Weiner Barrow was making the headlines for a fight that painted us in a really negative light. But we did not hesitate to set the record straight with our chalk and our positive messages. Then last year, we lost one of the members of this class to suicide. So in coordination with student council, Reverend Clore, and the entire community of Barrow County, we hosted our first ever suicide prevention walk and we actually had the second largest walk in all of Georgia. Even now, we have stayed connected and bonded through this quarantine, still working hard to make the most of what's left of our senior year. From bingo to taking our mirrors outside, it's inspiring to see the good side of social media come alive and keep us connected. Everyone mourns our losses, but at least we have been able to celebrate our successes. And it's comforting to know that everyone's hearts are with us. So thank you to everyone who has sent your love out to the class of 2020. I also have to thank our faculty and staff at Winder Barrow for doing the most to make this rough time the best it can be. From the posts on social media, the yard signs, and the 30 minutes of Friday night lights, and even still holding our honor tonight, I think it can speak for us all when I say it means a lot to us to see you guys still care. From fires to bus wrecks, our school has seen a lot of chaos this year, but it has also seen a lot of healing. Senior year may have been a rough one for circumstances out of our control, but there have still been some positives, and I know we will only continue to grow more from here. To the class of 2020, we have been looking forward to this year literally our entire lives. It's not what we expected, but still, it's 2020, baby. Our time is here. So thank you to everyone for tuning in tonight, and I hope you have a good night. And to the class of 2020, here's to making the best of what we got. Good evening, Bulldog Nation, and congratulations to the class of 2020. First, I'd like to congratulate our parents, our loved ones and guardians, and also thank you for giving us the opportunity to make a difference in your child's life. This obviously has been a unique and trying situation for all of us of the last seven and a half to eight weeks. I think we've all learned something from that. Even us as adults, we've had learned something from a distance as well. So again, congratulations to you, class of 2020, for working hard and finishing the race. Tonight, it is our full intent that we'll give you the short version, or I will, of my speech that I traditionally give because we have full intentions of coming in July to make sure we do our traditional 50-yard line celebration and graduation here in W. Claire Harris Stadium. Again, I'd like to say this to the class of 2020. There's two things I'd like you to remember that I think we always will. One is we've endured a pandemic that we've never have ever dealt with in anyone that I've known through my family or any other families in our several past several generations. The last thing I'd like you to remember is this. This is the last class for me as principal of Winterboro High School. And so it's just double special, even though it's been unique and trying, we've made the best of it. And as Dr. McMichael says, we do things boldly in Barra County. And I think we've made an example of that through our teachers, our custodial staffs, food, and nutrition, bus, transportation, all administration in Barra County schools. Thank you for what you've done. I'd like you, if you see those folks in our community, to congratulate them. It has been enduring and also trying for all of us. But we have put our kids first. I'm excited about the opportunities for you as you, as you go off in, in, into your new endeavors in life. Just remember, there's a couple of things that I want you to remember just from the pandemic and also me being the last class of 2020. The two big things is we'll always spell our dogs with two Gs and you'll always bleed red and black no matter where you go in life. Dr. McMichael, with the power vested in me, I hereby certify the class of 2020 for meeting all requirements set forth by the state of Georgia for them to earn their certificates and diplomas. Dr. McMichael, I present to you the class of 2020. Go dogs.
Thank you very much, Dr. Darby. It's an honor to be here celebrating with you all virtually this evening. I would first like to thank all of the parents and family members participating with us this evening for partnering with us over the years and trusting us with the education of your children. I also want to thank all the outstanding teachers and staff of Winder Barrow High School for your hard work and long hours helping these soon to be graduates earn their way to this day. Especially with all the chaos that this pandemic has brought, you all have gone far above and beyond, and we thank you. I have no doubt that due to your guidance and diligence, these students are extremely well prepared for the future roads that they will travel. To the members of the graduating class of 2020, on behalf of everyone associated with the Barrow County School System, I simply want to say that we are so proud to send each and every one of you out into the world as graduates of this school system. You are the future of Barrow County, the state of Georgia, and these great United States of America. And as you move into the next phase of your lives, always move forward and live your lives boldly. To say that the circumstances we have all found ourselves in these past few months have been difficult and emotional is an understatement of grand proportions. All of you have weathered the storm and risen to the challenge in a truly amazing way. You have all literally made history. No one will ever forget the class of 2020. You will always hold a special place in all of our hearts. And now, on this honorable occasion, by the authority vested in me by both the State Board of Education of Georgia and the Barrow County Board of Education, I declare you graduates of Winder Barrow High School. Congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs>